Well, hello folks, welcome to episode 156 of this Tennis Elbow Manager 2 series on the Custard Profit. And uh, yeah, again, we're following Sean Death on his path to get to the world number one spot. We are tantalizingly close. Um, and in fact, we got as far as high as second after the last uh, tournament you saw where we won, uh, but we have since dropped down to third again. But um, that might be changing again as well, and we'll look why. We're coming back for the uh, US Open, um, so I think we've got a real opportunity here to um, get ourselves ahead of Zopsku, who's in second, and um, hopefully ahead of Silvich, who is first. So uh, let's uh, have a look how things went recently. So you see in, we won in Toronto, uh, which was a fantastic victory. But then in the Cincinnati Open, which we won last year, we dropped points. We ended up in uh, got, you know, knocked out in the third round. And it was it was a bit of a rubbish performance, really. It was against the 20th ranked player. So he isn't bad, but we were quite comfortably beaten which is a little disappointing and the, the lad did go on to win the whole thing so that's that's something but you sort of see also Silvich went out at the same uh, same time because we won it last year all those points that we won uh, we have dropped so um, we uh, yeah we went backwards so this is kind of how things sit at the moment we're in third not very far behind Zopsku at all, um, but we are here at the US Open. You can see we got through the first round very, very comfortably against the 93rd ranked Romanian player. We're going to play this lad from Andorra who uh, battled his way through uh, against an Indian player, uh, Ivaru. He doesn't look terrible, to be perfectly honest. He looks he looks reasonable player. I mean, there is there is a bit lacking here and there, but uh, certainly the serve is going to be something to focus on, and uh, you feel he's going to be putting a lot of stuff out uh, tactically, and, <laughs> and self confidence is a bit of a problem for him. Um, and uh, yeah, he's, he's physically he's he's not quite what we are, but. He, uh, he's going to be a bit more of a challenge than the last one, and so we'll see how we get on there. The real news here is that Zopsku, who won this tournament last year, has got knocked out in the first round against the 40th ranked uh, Brit there. Silvich has won three quite comfortably, and he's got Lonnie in the third round. Let's see if we can get round, through to the third round. Last year, we got through to the last 16, so we're looking to better that to get a few more points. And... Uh, um, what we do know is whatever happens, we will be ahead of um, uh, Zopsku by the end of this tournament. <laughs> it's interesting. I thought it was over two years. It looks like it's actually over just one year, um, the um, the way in which the um, the rankings is sorted. I'm sure it was over two years, but yeah, a little bit confused, but um, that's what I think is going to happen. So I think he's definitely losing a bunch of points for this. So here we go. We really, really need a bit of time just to sort our um, um, physical and mental stats. You can see we, we did pump a little bit into the serves uh, just to get that back up where we want it. So that's looking good, but the rally stats are a bit low. Um, mentally and physically, we're just a bit shy of where we used to be. We do have a bunch of experience points, but I, I wonder at what point this kind of sliding because I'm focusing so much more on getting the, the short term focus up for every match, which I think is really important to do. But how much with all these things just sliding a little bit because of that is going to affect us. I think at some point it will. Right, let's go and do it. As you see, he's probably very similar to us um, in terms of power, but um, on, on his forehand and backhand, but pretty inconsistent. That's that's fine. Okay, so those are put up. Just had to put my ears in uh, so we don't get echo. 90% um, is his form of the day. We're sitting at 100%, so that's good. I don't think we need to full look at forehand or backhand, but I think just because he's quite powerful, we'll just move a touch further. No, not that much. There we go. Uh, further back and just um, give us a little bit more time to play. Right. Come on, let's do this. 
Well, we've been doing a lot on his serve, but... Sorry, just turn the volume down. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing pretty well on his serve, and he's done nothing on ours. And, uh... It's still in. Wow. There we go. And that's the first break. 5-3. Um, we certainly don't look in trouble. Yeah, I think he's got pretty much one point on our serve, um, <laughs> whereas we've we've been close on most of his games. And here we go, forty love up, five three. First set looks oh! in the bag, Game six set. three. Return. Not getting so many first serves in. Maybe that's something to focus on. Uh, but yeah, as you'll see here, hundred percent of points won on our first serve in, and eighty six percent on our second serve. So it has been a pretty comfortable situation right so just maybe on the serve we're going to slow the serve speed down a touch on the first serve right second set let's do it here we go we've got a break opportunity in the first game 30 40 up he kept that one in nicely and as soon as he tried to put power in it straight in that so we've got a break that's going to be important well, he has won a point on our serve, but with love 40 up on his serve now, it looks First like he serves. might be crumbling a little bit. Um, I thought he was going to put up more of a fight, I have to say, but I think there must be some hidden attributes as well that are, you know, that, that are important. Wow, he's got the power in now. Oh, he's just gone wide with that. Well, three love. Uh, and I think the second set is pretty much in the bag as well. Yep, we're 5-2 up, 40-15 up. I'm just going to wrap it up in this game to go two sets to low up. And we're looking good for reaching that uh, that third round. There we go. Game set, return. I think we've... Let's just have a look at our first serve. Has that helped? No, we're actually been worse. <laughs> okay, okay. Doesn't matter. Let's go for it. Not change anything. And again, another break opportunity with 15.40 up here. That's nicely done. Right down the line. 30.40. Got the British umpire here. I don't know why. Let's come over. Second serve. And he's got some power but he doesn't use it that often. Into the net again. It's that consistency, that low consistency so that is really affecting him. Right, there we go. Let's go. Right, 30, 40 up, two love up. I think winning this one would be, would be good. Um, and that, I think, would put the nail in the coffin finally. It's juice, though. Again, we're 3-1 up now. Um, 30 40 up, another chance to get the double break. He's kept it in. Oh, that was inches Jeez. too wide. Millimeters. 4 2 up now, we've got an advantage on the Ivory serve. He's come out oh, just wide. It's, it's, it's really, really um, close to us getting this win now. Now, here we go, we've got match point. 30 40 up at 5 3 in the third set. Not really been that great on his serve, and we've we've had a few break points, and not Jeez. made the most of them. Another chance in this game to wrap it up. Come on, Shawnee, finish it off into the net. Game there it goes. Six, no match. mistake. Six two, six two, six three, and that that is all she wrote. Uh, very, very strong performance uh, from Shawnee. We were very good on our own serve, not quite so good on their serve, but we created a bunch of chances. Uh, so I was pretty pleased with that. Um, did did really good. I mean, good return points won 46%. That is excellent. Just 10% for Ivory. So with into the third round, who are we going to play there? So it is the seed. Uh, it's um, Mistelia from France. Let's have a look at him. Um, 
looks a, a better player than we've just played, but a poor stamina, poor strength, poor reflexes, um, and short-term form is in the ditch, so that's not going to help him much. Um, but he does have a bit more power than the last guy. He's probably going to come to the net. We've played him before and lost to him on clay fairly comfortably a couple of years ago, so uh, this could be a potential banana skin. Let's have a look what's happened um, elsewhere. I mean, all, all that's happened is that we've seen a few seeds dropping here um, in this half of the draw. Qualifier getting all the way through to the third round there. Uh, Alex Verev moving through. He's 35th in the world now, but uh, Nick Kyrgios, Kyrgios might be a problem there. Tim Mallow, who we have played before, um, might be a bit of a problem there. But uh, thank you, yeah, Hamilton. He's he's dropped out. Thank God for that. After um, after having to play him, so uh, yeah, I think uh, if we get through this, then we will be playing either the the Russian uh, Medvedev or Le, Leporte from Australia. Neither of those, Austria, sorry, not Australia. Neither of those particularly look great. I mean, that guy looks particularly poor. Although we have lost to him once. Um, but this is going to be a big test here against Mistel, uh, and hopefully we've got enough about ourselves to get through to the last 16 and then into the quarterfinals. You know, I think we've got enough to get through this one. This is the test, though. Right, let's go and see how we do. Yeah, so here we go. Um, now, my, my worry here is that this guy is pretty much the exact, those same load strategy, load strategies. Oh, no! I've overwritten the bloody strategy. <sighs> right, I'm just going to have to uh, sort this out. Okay. Yeah, that's the second time I've done that. And it's just... I think it's just because the symbols look so similar. It's um, easy easy to do that. But um, So we've set the strategy up, which I hopefully is going to be fairly similar to what uh, the other one was. We are going to go... A little bit further from the baseline, I think six percent looks about right. We'll, we'll start with this and we'll see. We see how things goes. This hopefully we're just we're strong on our own serve, and then it's just their their serve that we need to deal with. But this could be anything. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Well, not what I necessarily was expecting. First set one fairly. First game one fairly comfortably, and we have a couple of break points. But uh, that's what I was expecting. Juice. And that one slapped down the line. It's juice. Another break opportunity here. Be nice to get an early break. That would be. Just didn't really do anything with that, and we did nothing with that either. Poor backhand. Chance there. Right, 40, 50, or 15, 40 up. Um, we were love 30 down on our own side. So I think there's real opportunity for this to go either way. He's got very blonde hair. Is that a hat? He's got some power as well. So, uh, 30, 40. Hmm. Oh! Yeah, not been so good um, on his serve, the, the highlights we've seen so far. And again, 15, 40 up, but. We're not seeing anything when we actually get the chances. It's a nice return that you feel that. Yeah, no hope there. 30, 40. Had to cover the whole court and the guy could have just put it just about anywhere. Another chance though. Here we got a second serve to deal with. We've had every chance here to take this first set. Oh! He's going wide again. Yes. The key points. Let's just have a quick look at this. Yeah, we'll hold. another chance here. Advantage. Yeah, both on 100% form of the day. And into the net. Oh, it wasn't a hard return there. We and what's this? Six or seven break opportunities. He's gone into the net. We had to rely on his mistake there. But hopefully that means the first set is ours. 
of 5-2, we've got an advantage. We will love 40 or 40 love down and manage to pull it right back. Oh dear me. Oh, ah! so nice. Another chance here. 5-2 would be a strong statement for this opening set. It's not been a 5-2 set. And he does look good, this guy. And this first game seems to, the first set has been seems to be going forever and we are another advantage here. Ah! He's gone wide, finally. 6-2. Set that was hard work. That was a lot of work to get there. 74% serves, good. We're not making, he's making mistakes and so as long as that continues, and we're not seeing them, but that is what is happening. Right, same thing, second set. Right. Love 40, 3 2 up. This is better. This one's been a harder set. Not that many chances. We need to make sure we make the most 15, of these chances. When we get them. Come on. A couple more opportunities here. That's a nice return. Deep. And that was a lovely shot down the line, and we have got the break. And there we go. 40 love up, 5-3. Oh! Oh! That was a bit loose. 40-15. Not really giving too much up on our own serve. There we go. 6-2, 6-3. And um, I think we just need to keep it pretty much the same, exactly the same sort of thing. He's making more errors than we are, basically. So, uh, same again. Two all, and we have an advantage here. This this does have a feeling of a, game, of a match that could turn around at any point. So I think we do want to make the most of the chances we get. It's got a lucky one, but we put it away. Three, two. We have a head in front, or neck in front, whatever this oh! thing is. Something in front in this third set. That's important. Well, we've just done brilliantly on our own serve. We're 5-4 up. We've got a match point here, and that's it. We're through oh! to the last 16. Game, set, match. Player yeah, that was a very, very professional performance. 6-2, 6-3, 6-4, and we march onwards. That was that was good. That was really, really pleasing. So we are going to be playing the Austrian, who didn't look very good. He beat Medvedev, who is it? The Medvedev, who looks also rather uninspiring. But um, we're through to the last 16. Let's have a look at some of the other players through. Zverev is who we're going to be playing potentially or Giannisi. Either one is going to be an epic battle in the quarterfinals if we get through that far. Let's have a look at the other side of the draw. Well, Silvich through against Lonnie. This was a bit more tricky, but Silvich is doing what he, he does best and that is win tennis matches. Um, four sets. He lost the first set, so and, and two sets going into tie break. So you know he is he is beatable. He's got the thirteenth seed up next, and he looks strong. He looks very very strong. So maybe maybe there's a hope here. We're playing probably the weakest player left in the tournament. Oh. <laughs> So he's he's very good, although backhand his precision is not looking particularly great. Physically a bit weak and service should be a bit rubbish. So as I say, we've played him once and uh, beat, beat him once earlier this year actually. He doesn't look like a hundred and second ranked player, you have to say. Anyway, that's it for today relatively easy couple of matches for us there um, first up against Ivru winning uh, easily there from Andorra and then the 29th seed comfortably dispatched in, in three sets so we've got another game uh, which is, looks more challenging than I first 
anticipated, but I think we've got enough to get past this lad. Um, and then that's a bit of a mouth-watering tie. If we get through it, either Zverev or Giannisi. Um, it's always a battle against Giannisi. Yeah, we did lose against him, didn't we, in the final? Yeah, in Atlanta, a tight old match. But we've had some, we've had some epic, epic matches. Anyway, folks, that that'll do. If you've enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you for uh, well, the last 16 match. Potentially, this tournament could be where we finally break in, into the um, the top of uh, of tennis. I think if we win it, potentially we could be we could catch um, matey up. Uh, Silvic up. We're definitely going past Zopsku, but it's we just need we need Silvic to come, drop out, and then we need to go deep into the tournament. And I think maybe there's a chance. Exciting times though. It's a, it feels like we might be might be almost there. Anyway, folks, as I said, uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>